guys today we're unboxing and setting up some gaming speakers so this particular set is from edifier and it's a g2000 details are in the description below including purchasing links so let's have a brief look around the packaging so a picture of the speakers here has led on there as well coming around the side here highlighting that power output is 8 watts per speaker and peak power is 16 watts per speaker frequency response wise we've got 98 hertz to 20 kilohertz coming around the back here it mentions the speakers are 2.75 inches full range on there so bass mid-range and treble 12 lighting effects on here and you have bluetooth connectivity too coming around this side just highlights the content of the packaging so let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging now before we begin if you're new to the channel do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to be notified of new videos the youtube algorithm is a bit crazy how it works so just by hitting the like button and dropping me a comment it can support the channel so let's take a look at the items you get in the packaging so i've laid out everything you see in front of you get an instruction manual this is multi-language you get a warranty card a warranty for one year you get a 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil cable gold plated connections on there length of the cable is 1.3 meters quality of the cable seems reasonable you get a usb to usb cable and the length of this one is 1.2 meters and good quality cable on this one you get a power adapter and the length of this cable is 1.36 meters it's a 12 volt 1.65 amp output on here and the connector is dc build quality of the cable seems okay so let's take a look at the speakers so in terms of connecting both the speakers together left and right there's a cable in place it can't be replaced the quality of the cable feels good it's 1.6 meters in length now coming over to the speakers themselves both identical in size but one of them has controller options on there so coming in close you've got a power button there you've got a toggle for the volume up and down you get a music mode button here which switches between music game and movie modes and it also allows you to change the lighting modes on there coming over to the front i've measured the diameter of the driver on here and it's a two and a half inch driver you can see for yourself it's a matte finish all the way around here matte here and then a little bit of glossiness just on the inside there build wise feels good construction of the unit itself feels strong and you can see for yourself it's angled so as you place it on your desk the driver's pointing in an upward motion obviously so the sound is optimized to go directly to you in terms of dimensions you've got 13 centimeters here 11 centimeters there 10 and a half there and at the maximum point there you've got 10 and a half centimeters so nice and compact now coming around the side you've got the point where the leds will show here as well base port there led point here got some branding on this side and that's it looking underneath there you've got four rubber pads obviously similar on this but looking on the back you've got the usb connection point and you'd connect that to your pc and then you've got aux in so you could connect that to your pc or your phone for example then you've got sub out so that's the connection for a subwoofer and dc in for power so these will require power they won't run standalone i will plug in the speakers let's turn them on now so if i hold on to the button at the top that's what you're initially presented with and if i press the button once usb input so it just toggles the different input modes so you've got usb bluetooth and auxiliary volume controls down here you've got the toggle here so if i hold on to it you can toggle to the maximum and it will beep when you reach there if you hold down it will keep flashing away till it's at the minimum and then when it stops flashing that means it's reached the minimum you don't get a beep for the minimum so let's take it up to maximum again you can see it flashing away stops flashing beeps and you know you're there now pressing the button down here once game mode game mode movie mode music mode so that's all the modes you have available and now if you hold on to this you can see the different lighting effects on here so at the moment you can see the blue lighting effect if i hold on to it turns it off turns it on hold it again red green blue and there's two types of modes there's a static color and there's a breathing color as well so six of each if i hold on to it again there you go now you've got the breathing in a different color and so on now if i turn the lights off for a moment just to show the brightness levels on here there you go that's what you can expect from them and if i now turn them 
place them near a wall and if I turn the background lights off that's the ambient lighting you're going to get off them. So not too bad, brightness levels are sufficient. Would it be nicer if they were a bit more brighter as well? Now I've connected the speakers up to my PC, turned all the RGB off, obviously just the monitors on, just to give you an idea of brightness levels from this. It's not too bad. In actual fact, it looks okay. Would it be nice if it's controllable so brightness levels could be adjusted? Some things it lacks, obviously it can't sync with gameplay on the screen. That would have been really impressive if it could. Like the Logitech gaming speakers I previously reviewed. But for the form factor, obviously takes up a minimal amount of space and looks pretty cool. And here's how the setup looks with the other RGB turned on around my setup. Fits in pretty well. Next, let's test out sound levels and test out the different music modes on here. So if I press the button at the side once. Movie mode. It's on movie mode. Got my sound level meter here. We're about 30 centimeters away from the speaker. So now if I play some music. about 90 decibels from that sound clarity was good even bass was very good on here but let's go to the next one music mode music mode now so let's play from the beginning again <laughs> to about 91 decibels on there. Let's go to the next one. Game mode. Game mode now. <laughs> one decibels so very similar I have to admit between the three modes I didn't notice anything dramatic I guess it's more to do with what you're doing obviously with the music mode if you're just playing music game mode gaming and then movie mode obviously when you're watching a movie but similar levels no struggling or distortion with the sound quality and good bass levels for such a small form factor on here now not the loudest speakers I've ever heard but I like the fact that you have got the option to add in an optional subwoofer on there and I have tested it out with different types of music and it does perform really well on there. So with me testing out the music at my end, obviously you're hearing it coming through the microphone on my side. Obviously the quality isn't gonna be great of what you're hearing, but what I'm hearing, it is pretty good. So I've tested it out in different scenarios and it has performed pretty well. The only real criticism I've got for it is the fact that would it be nice if the RGB was a little bit more brighter? Would have been even better if you could configure it via an app and get it syncing with what's happening on the display? That would have been a real killer option. And in terms of PC speakers, these are probably the best functionality wise because it has a lot of functionality in there. Obviously you've got the bass, so if you wanted to enhance the bass even more, you can add in a separate subwoofer. You've got Bluetooth, you've got auxiliary in on there, and you've got USB connectivity. So not seen that on other gaming speakers. So impressive bit of tech, good addition to your gaming setup if you're after some gaming speakers. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing these. Details including purchasing links are in the description below. Hang around for the end cards, I'll have some more gaming tech. Drop me a like if you like the video and drop me a comment, let me know what you thought of these speakers. If you haven't liked them, let me know why you haven't liked them. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.